hey guys welcome welcome back to the part two of life at ucw in this video we're just going to talk about um the two things the cost to study internationally and also a bonus thing you need to know before coming to study internationally <music> So the cost to study internationally, like for example, for me at University of Canada West, uh, it cost me at least five thousand seven hundred dollars per semester, and that's like for three courses, all co um three credit courses, right? So for the entire time, it will be like thirty something thousand dollars, right? But the thing is with me. I got um, this scholarship that they were offering to persons who are from the Caribbean and certain parts of the world. However, if you're coming here from Nigeria, um, Philippines, um, India, and some other countries, you will have to pay the full price, which is somewhere around 40000 or 45 for international students with um, the foundation course. If you don't have to do the foundation course, then it would be less. And recently, University of Canada West increased their cost to study, right? Also, another thing where I want to talk about the cost, yes, it's expensive, but I remember when I just started, right? This is what happened at UCW. When I just started, um, UCW didn't mind you paying your fees like on a payment method. So basically, I would have paid that one year tuition fee, right, to prove to the government that I can afford one year. But what happened was that I would have paid that to KPU because KPU was the school I was going to go to first. After applying for a refund, getting my money back from KPU, um, I think for KPU, the one year was like something like i think like ten thousand dollars or twelve thousand dollars i don't exactly remember right but when you put that on ucw for one year tuition that's not one year at all because at ucw is uh, my prerequisites courses that i had to do the foundational courses that was easily the five to seven hundred i think com coming out and then i just barely had half the next semester right but nothing was wrong with that because like i said ucw would allow you to pay like on a payment plan so basically say for example if you wanted to pay 1500 every two weeks they didn't mind you could select you could owe ucw and still be selecting courses you know and then maybe when you're ready to graduate then you pay off everything however lately ucw is not doing that anymore it's like before you start every semester they want you to close off your balance that you owe for this semester before you go into the new semester a lot of schools in canada are like that but ucw was not like that ucw i guess i would say they understand the hardships of international students so they were giving you like a little leeway but then i don't know i, th I think people start taking advantage of it or abusing it because many students they're going and they owe 15 20k in school fees and they're still finishing up and they still haven't paid their tuition and that's when the school decides to you know what we are not going to sit and wait for you to reach the stage for you to graduate for you to pay your balance right so no before every semester you have to close your balances so if you're coming here you have to know that okay if you if you paid the one year tuition to prove to IRCC that hey you paid one year tuition right you need to figure out a plan how you're going to find the other year's tuition know that international students can work full-time from November 15th until December 2023 right 
students who are here or who would be approved already for a study permit then i believe with working full-time and of course getting a little help however you can you can put your funds together to pay for your international school fee however i haven't visited this topic as yet since international students can work 40 hours however this is something that you need to know if you're applying to come to canada we are hoping that they will extend this right this policy we are hoping that they will but right now it is only for students who would have don't miss this important point the working 40 hours in canada is only for students who would have submitted um, application for a study permit in Canada during the month of October on the day that this announcement was made so if you are submitting an application for study permit as of today you would not be qualified for this 40 hours that you can work as a full-time student unless the government decides to extend it but do not let this stop you from applying because we have seen many times the government put a new policy in place and they keep on extending it. So my hope is that they will keep on extending it. But just be aware that it is only people announced that, oh, international students can work 40 hours, right? And you probably there thinking, oh, you should apply because with this new 40 hours, then you can go and work. The thing is, be aware that if you applied after the date that this was this announcement was made, you would not be qualified. So you're just hoping that they will extend it and then include you who would have applied after the date be aware because immigration consultants and lawyers and all these people they tell you what you want to hear so you have to do your own research and hey that's why i'm here because i'm reading between these lines okay i'm not a lawyer but i'm an engineer and i know how to read between lines and look for details that's important given the cost that is expensive you need to know how you're going to make these payments like i said they're no longer doing this whole payment plan they don't care because they're saying you would have told ircc that you can afford to pay your tuition while being an international student here the next thing regarding the costs the cost it doesn't have to do with financial um burden alone but there's a cost to your mental health like people don't talk about this but there is a cost as an international student that you have to pay to your mental health why because imagine you're coming from your home country where you're used to things a certain way and then you come into this whole new environment and you really have to adapt to the new norm the new standards here right you have to do things that maybe you would not have done in your home country maybe you had a good job in niger maybe you had a good job in guyana you know wherever it is that you're coming from and then you come here and mentally you gotta do survival jobs just to survive because you're here now you got to make ends meet right or maybe you are one that decides you know what i do it uh -uh, it not worth my time right but then sitting down thinking about your next moves planning things out it can break you or make you like mentally you have to guard yourself when you're coming here that's a cost that you'll have to pay that nobody talks about right you need to know these things it's not just about the process and understanding immigration system but be prepared for everything everything you have to figure out what works for you during your lowest times for me it's god is seeking god for divine intervention for direction whatever it is that works for you know that you, you're gonna need to dig deeper in it when you get here so be aware of your mental cost that you will have to pay the bonus tip now that i want to talk about the bonus is that after coming to school as an international student why many persons come is because you know you've seen persons who have gone through the system and how they have made it after they have finished they get permanent residence there are so many pathways right after being you know a student in canada this bonus tip that i'm going to tell you and you probably belittle it but this is it hope 
you see when you're a student international student here in canada despite what comes your way despite what you have to do you have to keep hope alive you see that end goal that we all see everybody went through the system oh no they are permanent resident right when you're going through the valley it's hard to have for some a lot of people it's hard to have hope probably hope is the only thing that keeps you going you need to have it if you're coming here planning to do life as an international student people don't tell you but all you're going to need to have to survive on this journey is god faith and your hope for the future and your dreams that's what will keep you alive in new countries because many of us you will see people say it on tiktok and all about right many of us we didn't just we didn't it wasn't like oh my god we did that we were dying in our own country and no we left because we wanted better and because you want that better you're going to have to keep hope you're going to have to figure out a way how to get up in the morning to keep going after that dream even when things are not working out like you planned because things might not always work out like you planned but you just gotta keep hope alive and that's my final bonus tip yeah May I tell you, I can do a story time and give you my business, but there's always time. Timing is perfect. And it's not time yet. But when the right time comes for me to share certain things, I will share it. But for now, when I tell you, you can ask people who they are. And anybody who is watching this video and you're here in Canada and you know what I'm talking about, don't be afraid to put it in the comment section to let people know for real that you gotta keep hope alive. You gotta have hope. You gotta have some, I believe in God. So I gotta have God guiding me. Whatever it is that you believe, whatever boats your boat, you gotta have to put it at your fourth center and look towards it for help and guidance because it ain't easy starting all over and getting to where you want to go but every day as you do it you feel your sense of purpose and you'll be reminded why you're doing this why it matters so that's why i always end my video saying all the best to you on your journey may the odds forever be in your favor because you need all the best all the love all the support you can get during this time and things will happen things will happen that you didn't even plan for or see for in my case hey my grandfather died i did not see that one coming right but things will happen so keep going don't give up i always say that all the best to you on your journey hit that like button share this video and comment you you have to comment if you want people to see these videos people who want to change their life and you want to be an impact or an influence or help them with their journey you have to share the video for them to see it you have to give somebody the motivation that they need or the knowledge that they don't know that they need to know before making the move you have to share it so like the video share it and comment Thank you so much for watching and all the best to you as probably you're preparing for counting down for Christmas or whatever it is or the new journey. All the best. All the best. Now nah, stop. Say it. All the best to you. Bye.